Through this morning, changes are coming to parks and recreation centers in Roanoke. It's part of a new master plan, the first major upgrade like this in nearly two decades. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire spoke with the director of Parks and Recreation. She joins us now live. So, Aaron, what are some of the changes we can expect to see? Well, one of the biggest things we're seeing is a push for, norm, uh, for more neighborhood and local parks where people are just a short walk away from that green space instead of having to drive all the way across town and park to get there. Now, those are some changes we started to see in the last master plan, which was put in place back in 2000, where we're expecting to see an even bigger push for updates to neighborhood parks as part of this current plan. And with changes coming to the Wasina Bridge, which is set to be replaced, the director of Parks and Recreation, Michael Clark, tells me they're also expecting a lot of interest in the creation of a new Roanoke City skate park. Other outdated facilities are set to get a facelift as part of this future plan as well. Renovations to our pools, uh, indoor recreation space. You know, for instance, our newest recreation center in the city was built in 1965. So, they're a little dated, you know, so we, we anticipate getting some feedback on, on those um, and some other larger ticket items. Now the plan's expected to come together this fall with approval by City Council at the start of next year. And once in place, this is work that will be spread out over the next 10 to 20 years with updates to the plan coming every five years. So community meetings kick off tonight at Preston Recreation Center and Jackson Park Library with two more meetings coming tomorrow at Eureka Recreation Center and the Grand & Collab. So if you have any feedback you'd like to give, if you have ideas you'd like to see or changes you'd like to see made to these parks, those are the best ways to have your voice heard. We've posted more details to our website, WSLS.com. And while these meetings are focused on parks, is the city also looking for feedback in other areas? Yeah, it is. So if you had feedback for the greenways, for the blueways, some of those indoor recreation centers, pools, different things like that, they're looking for feedback on all of the above. So any information or changes that you would like to see made are welcome at these four community meetings over the next two days. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Aaron.